Hi, and welcome to In The Front Row, all things reactions, reviews, and interviews. My name is Jamie Lee, and today I'll be doing a review of the film called Seriously Red. So I'm not gonna lie, I went into this movie completely blind. I didn't watch the trailer, I didn't know who starred in it, I didn't really know a lot, apart from the fact that it was based on Dolly Parton, and that it was directed by Gracie Otto, who directed one of my favorite series currently streaming on Netflix, Heartbreak High. If you're a regular to my live streams, you would know that I harp on and on about this series and how good it is from start to finish. I just absolutely thought it was perfect. Um, it's very Aussie, so maybe it's not for everybody, but it's definitely for me, uh, and I loved it. And so I thought, you know, she directed that and I loved it. Maybe I'm gonna enjoy this one as well. But at the same time, I could appreciate that this was definitely out of my league. Uh, as much as I love Dolly Parton as like the queen of country and this charitable, like loving icon that she is, I'm a 90s baby. So yeah, it's just not my era. It's not my thing compared to somebody like my mum who would totally appreciate and, you know, have that nostalgia feel of this, um, of Dolly and her experiences and her music and things like that. But I was really shocked when I walked out of the cinema and I actually enjoyed this like feel good, like inspirational, I guess, movie. I thought it was really, really great. It's an Aussie drama slash comedy slash musical. And the queen of country Dolly herself described it as a wonderful tribute to becoming the best version of yourself. So we follow the story of Raylene Delaney, also known as Red. She's played by Crew Boylan, who actually wrote the screenplay for this, which I think is really cool. Uh, Red is this quirky, vibrant real estate appraiser, uh, but although she's quirky and she's vibrant, she actually lacks self-confidence, you know, in her appearance and in herself, and she lacks direction in her future and her career and what she wants to be or who she wants to be. She lives in her mother's granny flat, she idolizes Dolly Parton, and despite drinking from her cup of ambition, she struggles working that 9 to 5 or 8.30 to 6 o'clock job, she called it in the show. She struggles working that uh, traditional job just because she's so vibrant and she's so out there and just like too extra that she just doesn't fit in in the workplace. At one of the work Christmas parties she receives the award as office clown and she definitely looks the part because she's you know rocked up in this orange jumpsuit like really dolled up looking like she's Dolly Parton when everybody else is dressed in this formal wear and looking very fancy so she definitely didn't fit in uh, and when she accepted that award she embodied it I guess you know like she really performed as Dolly and tried to liven up the crowd and really take that role as the clown seriously. That performance got her noticed by Teeth, played by Celeste Barber, and she was the recruiter, I guess, of the actual performers of that night. She invites Red to try out as an impersonator of Dolly to star alongside an impersonator of Kenny Rogers, played by Daniel Webber. Red enjoys the party a little too much and ends up having a one night stand with an Elvis Presley impersonator, played by Rose Byrne. The following day, she gets fired from her job from her inappropriate behavior the night before, and she sort of gets to this crossroads in her life because, you know, she's afraid to tell her mom because her mom has these societal expect societal, is that even a word? Anyway, she has these expectations of her to, you know, like marry her best friend, for example, who is named Frances, played by Thomas Campbell, have a successful job and essentially just be a success. After getting fired, Red takes up the opportunity with Teeth to try out for the Dolly Parton impersonator role, and she is unsuccessful at first, but eventually she wins over the approval, I guess you could say, of a former impersonator of Neil Diamond named Wilson, played by Bobby Cannavale, and she transforms into Dolly Parton in almost every possible way. So we start this journey with Red, and she goes on this messy journey, um, impersonating somebody else, trying to be successful or trying to be what everybody else wants her to be, but at what cost does she find that? And also what is successful? You know, that's the message and that's the journey that we really go on. We explore what Red really wants uh, and who she really wants to become. So I think the best thing about this movie is the message that you get from the narrative. It's a story about somebody losing themselves to try and be somebody else or a version of somebody else that everybody might want them to be. And just really struggling, a person that's really struggling with their identity, lacking confidence, and really trying to find out who they want to be in life or whether 
they want to go with their life. And so to back that up, I guess, there was a scene between Wilson and Red. Red looked the part of Dolly. She sounded the part of Dolly. She acted the part of Dolly. Like she was practically Dolly Parton. And yet she was unsuccessful for the role of the impersonator of Dolly Parton. And it was only as herself, as Red, I mean, she looked like Dolly, but as Red personality wise, you know, she was vibrant, she was silly, she was quirky. She was just really so adorably, embarrassing really uh and it was only uh her persistence and her drive when talking to Wilson that actually got her the role of the impersonator and that was such a strong message to me that you know yeah she lost herself along the way eventually in the movie uh in order to find herself but she was always enough you know like as herself as red she was always enough uh she just needed to find her place to fit in, I guess. And obviously corporate traditional job wasn't that role, but yeah, that was a really good message. I felt there was some really nice scenes with Wilson and Red talking about, you know, the need for applause and who you need to get the applause from. And I thought those scenes were really powerful as well. If I had to mention a con, it would be with within the writing. Uh, when we got to Red's lowest point, that moment with Elvis Presley there, I feel like that moment needed to be a little bit more hurtful, a little bit more of a like blow to her self-esteem, I guess. And her self-confidence we got the message we got where they were going with that but i just felt like you know she's at her lowest she needs that final blow to her confidence and stuff like that and i just felt like if that had been a little bit more hurtful it would have been a little bit more impactful but in saying that i really enjoyed it as i mentioned like i, I did like the story did like the character arc and i did like the message but that part there was um yeah if i could improve on anything that one little scene, it should have been a little bit more hateful and, um, you know, really strike that final blow to her and her self-confidence. Dolly obviously gave them permission to use her music, which is really cool. Although I said that, you know, I'm a 90s baby and that era of music is not really my style. I did know most of the songs that were in this movie, whether it was Dolly's or whether it was Kenny's. And I liked it, if I'm being honest with you. It sounded cool and every song sort of like complemented each scene. Do you know what I mean? Like when there was a song playing, like it really complemented what was happening on screen and what they were trying to show us and the message that they were trying to show us through the song as well. So that fit really well. And visually, I thought it looked awesome as well. There were title screens that like popped up on the screen with Dolly's quotes and it really broke up what was happening on screen. Uh, and also like the hair, the makeup, the costumes, everything was just so, so extra. And it really felt like you were in Hollywood. You know what I mean? It felt like you were watching Dolly and watching Kenny sing and you were the audience member. Like you just felt you were there and just captivated by that moment because of the costumes and the hair and makeup and things like that, as well as the performances, obviously. But yeah, that really made you feel like you were in the moment. And also I'm not a camera person. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm just an audience member, but there were some really fancy, like really cool, I thought anyway, uh, camera shots in this, you know, like there was the split screening, I don't know if that's what it's called, but that's what I'm calling it. And there was also like the kaleidoscope shot that looked so awesome. So yeah, I thought it like looked really good to watch. Another element that I thought really made this movie was the actor's performances, specifically crew. I just thought she was so like, even when you were supposed to be mad at her, she was so cute and so quirky and so fun and just so lovable. Do you know what I mean? She really played that role and played it well. And even the relationship or like the scenes between her or between Red, sorry, and Francis, those moments just felt so like genuine and like really authentic. It didn't come across as fake or anything like that. And obviously the relationship between Kenny and Red, there was supposed to be a disconnect there. And the actors showed that really well, you know, like you really felt like they were portraying somebody else and like really embodying another person and they were supposed to love each other but there was also that disconnect and yeah I thought that they played that really really well and obviously Rose as Elvis Presley oh, did right. not recognize her at all so I guess that's a testament to your acting you know that you're doing a fantastic job if you are not recognized I guess I don't know if it's a good thing or not but anyway um I thought all the actors did fantastic so seriously Red is out in Australian cinemas at the moment and I have no doubt that with all the 
approval, with all the hype, and with all the kindness that Dolly herself is showing the movie, that it's going to hit cinemas worldwide as well. So hopefully it does come to your screens and hopefully you watch it because you might be pleasantly surprised like I was. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully you enjoyed this video, my review. If you did, could you please give it a like? And if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel and then head on over to my Instagram and give me a follow over there as well, please. Okay, sweet ass. Have a good day. Bye.